ideally in an ideal world, it all comes back to a strategy or a small set of ideas that you're trying to express or, or even like a feeling that you're trying to express, but then you can carve it up in, in a lot of different ways. So one nice way to do it is thinking about the senses. So it can be visual, it can be uh, verbal, so spoken or heard. Uh, it can be sonic in terms of music and then even taste and smell for some, doesn't make sense for every brand, but for some brands that, that those are aspects uh, and touch as well. So that's one way to break it down. We have a visual identity spread. We have a sonic identity spread. Uh, we do have a spread on, we just sort of say the other senses because there are fewer examples there. But that's a way of thinking about all the different facets of an identity. At a deeper level, when you think about what makes a great identity, there are things that you hear in the branding world, like authenticity and flexibility and consistency. And these are all kind of aspects of identity as well, but, but maybe on a more strategic level.